I'm here in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, to interview the leader of the, of, of the first men's rights party launched since, since we launched in 2013. Uh, Gunnar, uh, could you introduce yourself and t tell me something of the party? Yeah, uh, I'm, the, I'm Gunnar Kristin Thorosson, I'm the leader of the men's rights party. Uh, I've been working in this area for the last seven years or so. 
uh, uh, specialized in uh, the parental equality uh, matters in that regard and uh, especially regarding you know uh, uh, custody uh, visitation rights and uh, and also um, the access of uh, uh, fathers to towards the welfare system as a whole um, and uh, that reflects the party's uh, uh, goals because uh, to understand and to understand the, uh, the our goals you have to I think um, uh, see it in the context of the Scandinavian welfare system I think uh, parental uh, equality is uh, important because uh, we don't get access to the welfare system as parents and uh, the Scandinavian welfare system is um, rather big and provides big portion of uh, disposable income of, income of families so uh, especially if we ha if uh, families have children you know the benefits the social benefits housing benefits children benefits are much higher and when people get divorced all those benefits go to the mother and they get even higher so in many cases uh, 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 divorce is a, a good business so to speak Be, uh, but the father uh, has to pay child support which is mandatory here and uh, they are the highest mandatory uh, child support in Scandinavia so, uh, so uh, the result of that all is that 50% of all fathers are technically bankrupt. They can pay their, their bills and, uh, and, uh, and, and the child support system here is like the state pays out the child support so the mothers always get their child support. It's important to uh, you know, say that. Uh, but the, but the uh, you know uh, other institution collect the debts, so uh, the, the mothers don't uh, get uh, the child support when we pay. They always get it on time. Uh, uh, so uh, the government has been you know uh, always putting the child support higher, 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 because they always get. Did, uh, from the state, but the problem is to pay it back because we don't get the, uh, the benefits as uh, parents. We are not registered as parents, so we don't get the welfare system in the social welfare system, and and it's just a, 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 such a big part of disposable income that that explains why ha half of all uh, fathers are bankrupt. Uh, that's so much injustice because uh, you can't say that uh, those fathers are irresponsible in finance. It's not that they are hard working usually. And, and the research say that uh, tw over 25% of all fathers uh, have 50-50% visitation rights. So uh, the fathers are, 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 are raising their children with their mothers mm -hmm. and the children usually live in two homes. Okay. They have two homes. Uh, so uh, it's a small society and works out. It's good that way. But uh, in return, even they have 50-50% visitation rights, they have to pay child support and don't get any access to the welfare system as, uh, as parents. So this is 25%? Yeah. So, so you, you still have a big problem with fathers not being able to see their children? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that ha that, that's a big problem because uh, there was a research recently that uh, said that 37% uh, of all Icelanders, adult Icelanders, knew of somebody who uh, didn't get to see their uh, children. That's another thing uh, in, in our, uh, you know, uh, what we're fighting for because uh, there are no laws in Iceland that guarantees that, uh, that fathers can uh, you know, uh, uh, see their children. So <clears throat> if, uh, if a mother wants to uh, deny them access to their children, she, uh, she can. You know, there is nothing to stop it. We have a you know, 
fine system, you know, which uh, is very, um, uh, what can I say, it, it doesn't work, you know, uh, uh, if, if, uh, if uh, a father can see the children for one year, then maybe uh, it takes a one year more to, uh, to go to the government and, and uh, press that they uh, find their mothers because of it. <clears throat> and you, you, I understand you launched the party three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. And you've had you've had good good uh, press. Uh, and yeah, yeah, we have uh, we had a good press, and uh, that was a surprise because mm -hmm. I've been working in this area for a long time, and uh, this is a political heresy. It's not a political correctness uh, uh, thing. Uh, so so uh, uh, I, I was very surprised that we got a really really good coverage in the press. Uh, especially in the big media, uh, the state media and, and, uh, and other big uh, press, uh, presses. Uh, so um, uh, that was a surprise uh, uh, and a good surprise. I think uh, uh, it was also a surprise to see that many women came to support us, support us. Uh, older women and even, even single mothers. So, okay. and so, so somebody did a poll. Was it? I don't know if it's a university, asking people if they would vote for such a party. Yeah. Do you, do you want to to talk about the results yeah. of that? Yeah. It, it was. Uh, there have been two polls. Uh, in the first one, uh, we had a 1.1 uh, percent, uh, but there was another uh, poll uh, uh, that was. Uh, they made a mistake in it. They didn't have the men's party in the poll, and uh, one. Well, it's a uh, sixteen. We have sixteen parties now. It's a. Uh, it changed a lot during the crisis, economic crisis. We only had uh, four or five parties that ruled the country, uh, but during the e e e economic crisis, it, it changed all. Uh, in that regard, uh, there were many parties who got elected. So, uh, so it's probably because the interest of people is so fragmented. Uh, one party can cover it all. You know, we have old people, we have uh, disabled people, and 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 there are so many views that needs uh, support because of the crisis. And uh, I think that's the reason uh, we have so such many many parties. Uh, but I think. Uh, um, I think uh, 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 that's the reason too that we uh, made our party because uh, uh, founded our party because uh, you know no other party is you know fighting for this yeah. as we have it's like I said it's a political heresy and you you have in I think a few days time the municipal elections here in yeah. Reykjavik yeah. Uh, and you're you're fielding some candidates for that can you tell us about that. Yeah, well, thank you. Sorry, you're, you're fielding some candidates. You're, you're, you're putting some candidates forward yeah, yeah, to be yeah, elected. Yeah. So can you talk about you know, the numbers? Yeah, we are to, we're, we are, uh, the candidates are 25. The minimum is 23. We had only uh, 10 days to find candidates and, and support uh, required uh, to, to uh, be a valid uh, uh, party in the election. So uh, um, uh, it was a hard work, uh, but we did it. Uh, we have three women on the list, and uh, and uh, um, uh, twenty three men, okay. uh, twenty two men. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and um, the general election is in three years. Yeah. So you're hoping to get the first men's rights MPs yeah. in the world. Well, yeah, I hope so because. Um, we have to change the laws in, in many ways. Uh, like I said, it's regarding custody, visitation rights, is access to the welfare system, and to be registered as parents. So one thing we are fighting for is that uh, uh, men are, are researched like any other groups in the uh, or in our society. You know, we know all about uh, single parents, uh, single mothers. We know all about the elderly and uh, many other groups in the country, but we don't know anything about uh, the fathers, divorced yeah. fathers, because uh, nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but 
uh, when when the the parliament is making laws uh, about uh, uh, the welfare system, for example, they based it they based it on research, you know, uh, information. But when it comes to uh, uh, fathers, uh, there are no research, there are no information. So they are carefree; they don't have to consider us because we we are not even on paper. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so we do not exist. They see no evil, hear no evil. Yes, yes, so. okay. And I, I believe I believe there's you're, you're you're going to bid for some money for is it the men's center? There's already a women's center. Or? Uh, yeah, there, there are a couple of uh, uh, women's centers, uh, and uh, we are glad that uh, the government is supporting that uh, because violence against women is uh, certainly a fact. Uh, but we uh, stress that uh, violence, against, uh, violence against men is also a fact. Uh, I've been helping fathers uh, for the last six years for, uh, to cope in the uh, administration and as individuals. And uh, uh, it is quite common that uh, when a woman denies a father of visitation rights, for example, there's also physical violence. Uh, physical violence against men, you know, they don't, they're not in danger, but it's a real violence, it's a mental violence, and they get really hurt because like all violent relationships, it's, it's uh, similar, mm -hmm. you know, the process is similar. Uh, you know, uh, uh, for example, it's uh, uh, common that uh, when, uh, when parents are, uh, when, when uh, men and wife are fighting and the father is talking about divorce because uh, mm -hmm. she's violent, then she says, oh, if you divorce me, then you won't see your children. And uh, if you divorce me, you, you won't see your children, and I'll go to the press and say something about you. Mm. So they use the press also to put forward lies and, and stories to get even, and to justify their, uh, that they are denying fathers of visitation rights and access to the children. But, um, you know, this is a small society and everybody is related here somehow. Uh, we, we, we have, uh, we have a, you know, site in the internet, you can Google us, you can find the relation, you know, backward. Usually we are all related in, in uh, sixth uh, generation, yeah. sixth or seventh. So, uh, when uh, so violence, uh, it, you know, uh, it touches us all somehow. Uh, so uh, I think we have a strong position to uh, change this because we are uh, we know so much about each other, mm -hmm. and we are connected to each other in so many ways. I think it will be. Uh, uh, I think we, it will happen because we are getting more and more support to our views, and even uh, many women are supporting our, our our battle. So, so I think it will happen. It's just uh, you know one problem with this fight is, you know, I said that this is a political heresy. So even the men who are uh, who are uh, violated you know, in so many ways, they are afraid to come forward. They are afraid to, uh, because... No, with, with good reason, I guess. With good reason. Mm. Because, uh, you can see the uh, discussion on the internet, uh, how, uh, how violent feminists talk about the men's movement, uh, talk about uh, divorced fathers, and all the uh, slur and uh, allegation uh, they put forward. So. Uh, you know, the social, uh, you know, we have the courts, we have the administration. It seems that people are more afraid of Facebook than the courts. You know, uh, we have a mild justice system, but Facebook is not mild. No, no it's, it's really vicious. harsh. Uh, yeah. it, it's, it has happened that uh, men has been falsely, ac falsely accused in Iceland. They have to move to other country yeah. because yeah. They are judged, 
are the people guilty, guilty. Yeah, yeah. They're guilty before uh, even going to uh, the courts. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's a big problem. I think uh, we are. We th think we live in a civilized, democratic country, but I don't like where this uh, we are heading because uh, this is uh, the courts are. You know, they, they make joke out of the courts. Uh, I think we have to respect the courts. We have to respect our institutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to live in a, so, a civilized society, we have to respect it. You know, in the Viking area, uh, we used violence. Yes. Uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. But uh, that's, I, uh, that's illegal now. I guess, <laughs> I guess um, nobody denied Viking warriors access, yeah. did they? <laughs> Okay. Uh, could, uh, I wonder if you can talk about something that uh, is, is creating some excitement in the media here. The, uh, I think you call it the feminism papers yeah, yeah. And, the, and the legal action that, uh, that is around that, if you can talk about that. Yeah, in March this year there was a, uh, there was a discussion in the internet in a fa closed Facebook group. It was an uh, you know, offshoot of um, the Me Too re re uh, revolution, hmm. is it called that? And, uh, and uh, uh, there was discussion of men who, who uh, were telling their stories. It's so funny about feminism because feminists uh, always say that man has to open out and show their feelings. But when they do, when the woman is the perpetrator, mm. when the woman uh, uh, uses the violence, mm. they are told to shut up. Yeah. Don't show your feelings. You're, you're supposed those to be wrong, a man. Those are the wrong feelings. Also. There's the wrong feelings, <laughs> yes. It's a very silly thing. And, and uh, there were a couple of guys who told their story. They, they didn't see their children. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I can't understand it. I, I've always, uh, I have one kid and I've always seen my daughter. There's no problem with that. But it's, I have, I have very, um, it's very easy to me to put myself in their shoes because I don't have to do anything else but to close my eyes and uh, imagine if someone took my child away from me. And it makes me furious. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I think I can't think it through because I would probably be mentally ill somewhere or furious. And, and so uh, I'm surprised why people can see those basic things. If you take a child away from you, how would you feel? Is a, is a, uh, you know, because so of the suicide rate shoots up at that yeah, point. Yeah, uh, uh, mental illness. Yeah. And, and it's about compassion, I think. Yes. But why do people have problem with, uh, have compassion with men? Uh, I, I don't understand it. It's, uh, maybe it's compassion fatigue because everybody is competing for compassion. Yes, I guess. And, and, and men are always the, the back of the queue. Yeah, yeah. it's a competition yeah. of, of sorts. Uh, but uh, but uh, men, uh, we are taught that men don't have, uh, should not, you know, feel, uh, make others feel sorry, sorry for themselves. It's strange that feminism, uh, feminists are taking this view because it's, they are contradicted, uh, they contra, contra contradict their own ideals, yes, yes, you know. Yes. <laughs> so how, how does this relate to the, the feminism papers and the vice, was it the vice chairman or the vice? The vice chairman of the Social Democratic Party yes. took part in these discussions oh, okay. and uh, took part in finding slur and uh, false allegation against those men. So, so this is a woman? This is a woman, this is a woman and uh, she is celebrated as a feminist in Iceland. Uh, so, uh, so we call this a feminist paper because all those women who took part in these discussions were feminists. And also you can find, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, the advisor of the Prime Minister, Hatla Gunnarsdóttir is there. Uh, she, is the, uh, she is the advisor for the uh, Prime Minister in the equal... <laughs> Uh, equality. equality. Equality of the, of the sexes. sexes. Yes. <laughs> Gender equality yes, is right. a very stupid thing. But uh, she, she takes part in these discussions and, uh, and she thanks them for you know, taking this fight. But on the same thread in the, in the, in the discussion, there were, uh, there were people 
attacking a, a, a chairman of a, a, a father's, part, a father's uh, organization here in Iceland, the oldest one. And they said so terrible things of him. I can't say it. I can't even write it down. It was so terrible and, and disgusting. And, and the legal action is against who? It's a, the legal action is against the vice chairman of the Social Democratic Party okay. because uh, she said in the uh, radio interview that uh, she knew that uh, these were violent men. Uh, okay. And, and uh, so, so who, who, who is it that's bringing this legal action? Who's uh, those men who were talking about their uh, experience as fathers, right. and they didn't get to see their children. Yeah, so they come together. They, they come together. You know, uh, it was also uh, you know result of the Me Too uh, thing yeah. because they called themselves Daddy Two, okay. <laughs> uh, Daddy Two group uh, usually. Uh, and uh, the fact is, they they have never been judged of anything. They have never, uh, be, nothing has been proved that uh, that they are violent in any way. Still, people are making allegations based on slur and, and uh, unconfirmed information. And it's very serious, I think, that people in power is uh, taking part in uh, in uh, you know um, judging people. You know, we have courts for that. We have courts of uh, the courts uh, decides who is guilty or not. So, what 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 might be the result of this legal action? I think the result is, uh, I hope she will face uh, justice. Uh, I hope, uh, but she should, you know, take political responsibility and and say goodbye to the Social Democratic Party. I think so. Uh, we don't need violent people in politics. No, no. Uh, uh, we shouldn't. We shouldn't do that. Uh, uh, and also, uh, you know, the Social Democratic Party is, you know, they think they're for equal rights and human rights, and they behave in such manners is just ridiculous. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I, th I think. Uh, it's important that uh, politicians have uh, show responsibility when they are speaking in uh, the public arena, and uh, they are not. They do not attack people without reason, mm -hmm. especially you know, uh, you know, uh, politic, uh, politics is a tricky uh, business, and uh, they are all politicians are always attacking each other, but you have to leave the citizens alone, because they are in power, not they. It's a power thing to when a, a powerful person attacks people who are not powerful. It's a serious business. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming over in three years to see you elected as an MP. Yeah. That, that, that would be history in the making. That would yeah, yeah. be, be the best thing to happen in the yeah, Midlands. Yeah, we, we are always talking about, about the silent majority mm. uh, because uh, you, those who are you know screaming on the internet, they are not the majority. Okay. But we are. Uh, we hope the silent majority in this election will vote for us yes. and show that uh, we don't accept this kind of behavior. Uh, we should. We should uh, trust the, our institution and our courts for for uh, deciding who is guilty. We should trust the uh, the children protection services and uh, leave them to uh, uh, to deal with all the problems and ac accusations that uh, men face. Uh, it should not be told on the internet and the press no. because we are in a small society and the children can read. Mm. Uh, and uh, and uh, the word goes around quickly around yes. this. Yes, yes. Okay. That's Is there anything that we haven't covered that you think? I think, uh, I think uh, you know, when you see the movie, The Red Pill, we are actually showing The Red Pill uh, tomorrow. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, Red Pill is a documentary by Cassie J. Uh, I think we have also. Uh, you show this to politicians, I think, or you're yeah, inviting yeah. them. Yeah, we're inviting the politicians. Yeah. And we have also Jordan Peterson, who is coming here in June. Uh, I look forward to that. Yes. Uh, uh, so we are seeing, uh, I think, in the Western world at least, that uh, our men's issues are, are, are more visible and people are starting to listen. Uh, I think so. And uh, what's more important, that women are also listening. 
listening and they understand uh, our fight mm -hmm. um, because I think the majority, the silent majority, uh, understand that parental rights are important and there is no equality without parental equality. Yes, yes. Uh, there is, uh, equality doesn't go one way, it goes yeah, both, yeah, way, yeah, both yeah. ways. Well, I, um, I think Iceland is going to be, I, I think this is the next phase of the men's rights movement, yeah, to so. be honest with you, because um, you know, if, if there's one thing that feminists understand like anybody else, you don't mess with the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, our, women, our women are, are, are fierce, but uh, they are beautiful and fierce. Yes. They always yes. have been, yes. so uh, uh, they are to be respected. But, <laughs> but, but, but they support us too. I think so. Uh, uh, you know, most women think they're feminist, uh, but, but they uh, don't like this kind of feminism, mm -hmm. this extremism, mm -hmm. this violence. Yeah. I think that I, I think we have uh, support for from the majority. I don't know if they they will vote for us, yeah. but they understand what we are saying. So, you know, um, I, I I think that's good. I had I had um, a, um, an email exchange with a very very important blogger called William Collins, who's also speaking at the conference, and I told him I was I was uh, speaking to you today, and he said, could you please ask Gunnar? If you can arrange for the Vikings to invade us again, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's an invitation. There's no problem yeah. this time. <laughs> There's no problem. Well, I'd love to. I'd love to. Uh, certainly, I hope this election will turn out good. Uh, I hope to get two or three men in, yes, in, the, in, the, in the into the city council. Yes. Yes. So, uh, so uh, uh, if we do that, if we can get at least two men in. We're, we're in business in the political yeah, yeah. arena, I think. And at the national election, I know you have, I think, 65 MPs. Yeah. So, so in the UK, 650. Wow. So, 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 so one, one person elected between parties, like 10 MPs in yeah. the UK. So, I mean, that's how, that's how big that would be. Yeah, yeah. It will be, you know, a challenge uh, to, to, uh, to get into the parliament. Uh, but uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, we are preparing for it now also because we are showing that uh, we, we mean business, we are, we are showing that we are not, you know, uh, you know violent men, we are, we are not supporting violence in any way, we are so supporting equality. It's just that feminism isn't really, no. it's not supporting equality because uh, they're hostile to Parental privilege. That's what they, that's what they say. Yes, yeah, yeah. uh, You can see that in their hostility, it's not equality they're preaching. It's something else. It's amazing that people still believe feminism is about equality, isn't it? Outside of the, this movement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's another thing because uh, you know they say uh, the feminists say we have a legal equality. It's not in reality. They say no. just in the laws. But okay, maybe it's true about they have lower salary and such. But research say every step that, that has been taken, at least in Scandinavia, mm -hmm. towards parental equality supports women in the job market. They get higher salary, better jobs, mm -hmm. and such. So it's, it's a common sense thing. But common sense ain't that common, is it? It's not, is it? <laughs> Somebody had done a poll where 50% of people said, I would seriously consider. But is that not? Did I get that? Yeah. Yes, it was an internet poll uh, after after interview I had uh, in, in, in the radio show. Uh, so it was a nice surprise, but because we didn't know about it, so we didn't vote for it ourselves. Okay, so you d you didn't have all your supporters. Re ready no, to no, vote. no. That's fifty percent. <laughs> yeah, that's astonishing. Yeah, yeah yes, it is. It shows that at least uh, people are open to our uh, our cause. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't show anything what uh, what we'll get out of the election, but you know, uh, you, know. you never know. <laughs> but but I think it's uh, it shows that uh, you know only uh, fifty percent were against us, you mm -hmm. know, uh, Louis. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I, th I think that's the silent majority. It's an astonishing number. Yeah, yeah. that's the silent yeah. majority that that uh, you know understands that uh, men have rights too as human beings. Mm.
uh, as fathers mm -hmm. and, and uh, they have children uh, that they need to care for and love. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, as amazing that some people don't get that. Mm -hmm. That yeah. we have we have human rights too. Yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Kuna, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. <laughs>